Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> Looks like you're a talking blanket because I can't see you. So it's Wednesday. Corey is currently playing some games on my laptop and I just got ready. Although my eyeliner broke, so we need to get more of that. I don't know how people don't wear eyeliner. Not enough going on in my eyes. <laughs> they just feel naked. I'm currently wearing this oversized t-shirt from ASOS. It's by the brand Weekend. It says the power's in your hands and then it has some like manicure play stuff on the back. Super big. I should have downsized it, but because it's so big, I just wore it as a pajama top now, and it's so comfy. But yeah, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Currently, a little cloudy up, but there's a little bit of blue over there. I want to go take a photo, but I need it to be blue skies, and I don't know. Good morning, Adley. This is the life right here. <laughs> He's erring. <laughs> He's such a big lazy dog. It's one day, my dudes. Okay, <laughs> just keep saying that. <laughs> so we're starting off the day by going to take a photo since it's decent outside and in Florida it always seems to rain in the afternoon, so might as well try to get one now before it rains. So I thought I would just wear this little um, eyelet lace two-piece from Sabo Skirt. I've worn it a couple times, but I just want another photo in it. I think it deserves it. And I have my lack of color hat. I got this little pink plaid blanket. Took me forever to try to find one of these online for even like a reasonable price. Finally found one on Amazon that was available. So I want to go shoot this. I think it's adorable. This is the back of the two-piece. I'm wearing it backwards because I like how the string on the back. <laughs> you can't do anything seriously. I love you. Okay. Uh, Hadley's currently sleeping on our bed now. I put that blanket down so he doesn't get hair all over the bed because it makes my eyes itchy, but he likes to not lay on it. Let's go shoot our photo. Let's go shopping. No, we're going to shoot a photo. <laughs> I'm currently holding like a million things. Anyone else wear these hats? They freaking my head like bounces off everything in the car. I have to take it off in the car. It's too big. See, I wanted to shoot over here, but there's I don't think the cows are out. Hmm. Yeah, there's usually cows out there, but there's none there today. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. So that was a fail. There's no cows out there, so we're just gonna go back to the house um, and wait. Maybe come back later and see if the cows are there, but I don't know, it's weird. That's how I got the whole idea for shooting it, was that there was cows there, and I wanted to take a picture, like, field cows in the background. No cows today, my luck. So update, we're back in the car again, but now we've decided we're gonna go on the boat. Corey's mom and her boyfriend can rent boats, so we're gonna go hang out in the water today and then go to like a little sandbar and hang out there for something different to do. Get some exercise swimming. First, we're gonna go stop at Walmart and get some snacks and some supplies and stuff. I wanna grab some stuff, maybe for like a picture. Super nice day, we can hope. It always rains in the afternoon, but maybe today won't. I mentioned today is Corey's day off. He only has like one or two days a week off. So I thought it'd be fun we do something a little different than just hanging out in his room playing video games all day like we normally do. <laughs> That's honestly fun, but. <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to go do something different. We haven't gone on the boat in a while, so. It's <laughs> Corey's mom. <laughs> well, you're going into the other lane. <laughs> We're gonna hit her. It's super hot in here because we don't have the AC on to film. So uh, we'll update you guys when we do something. <sighs> okay, I'm not really gonna film in Walmart just because it's kind of super busy right now and everyone's wearing masks and it just doesn't feel, it feels weird. I look like a duck. All masked up. We're gonna stop the Chick fil A to grab something to eat. You can get your fries, baby. Mm. Get your fries. Um, I got the cool wrap this time, Cory got nuggets, and we both got fries. The best sauce at Chick fil A, hands down. And then I got a diet lemonade. I usually get the frosted, but I didn't want it to hurt my stomach. Cory, what did you get? A root beer? Um, nuggets. The drink. For what? No, root beer. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? It's a drink. It was a simple glass of that. Mm. <laughs> we also got some stuff at Walmart. We'll show you when we get on the boat, probably. Because uh, it's all in the back there. I don't feel like reaching back there and taking it out. But, yeah. On the way to the boat, we go. So cool. It's like a little road, but it feels like it's full-on Georgia. Mm. 
And we're back in Florida. <laughs> PFG house. There's a fishy in here. The island. We found that Corey has an Outer Banks t shirt. Like, I wave at people on the car. Cold life. That Corey doesn't really like Outer Banks. Look over to the right. That's the owner of Walgreens in a house that big freaking compound showed us last year. Jeez. Look how pretty it is. Take a photo. Like. <laughs> <laughs> we just took some pictures on my phone, so hopefully they're good. See them on my Instagram. I don't think you can see anything on the phone. <laughs> I think they're gonna be cool though. I'm gonna put them in black and white, I think. Yeah. This place is so cool though. Did all the water go in there? Yeah, it's high tide. It's oh, I was about to say there's no sand left. We yeah, came at a good time a, then. It'll be at its highest point in about an hour. Jeez. That's really cool though. I love this little inlet. No one really comes in here. Everyone always parks over there on the sandbar. And uh, yeah, we go over here. This looks like Outer Banks or something. Like literally Outer Banks. <laughs> oh my God, your hair. <laughs> you look like you're from like a Nickelodeon show in the early 2000s. Oh, you're gonna wanna come around to her side. You're gonna wear your hey guys, I'm Derek. Oh my God, you're literally a Derek. <laughs> probably Nickelodeon show from the 2000s. Your hair. Something. <laughs> Is that the James Dean curl there? I love it. It's my favorite. I'm serious. Yeah, this is what they caught today. Good morning. It is Thursday. We just left for work and I just finished my breakfast. So I'm going to do my hair because from swimming last night, I washed it and it's all crazy curly and I just want it to be straight. It's just easier to manage. We had a lot of fun yesterday going out on the water, uh, but today's just more of a relaxed day. Okay. Get my iced coffee and do my hair and then we're going to get to a couple of things. I don't know if you can see from here, but my poor nose is sunburned. See in the mirror better? Yeah, you can. My poor little nose is all sunburned. My same pajama shirt that I wear every night now, but I'm gonna straighten my hair. I have a million videos on how I do this. So I don't think it's relevant to show you, but this is my natural hair after I've washed it. It's just super poofy, curly. I have it half up right now. It's actually super thick, and I put it half up in the morning when I make breakfast because it gets in my eyes. So, I'm gonna get ready for the day. So, straight or curly? Comment below. Hadley, you can't sit right in the way. What are you doing? Huh? He wants to lay on the bed, but I don't let him lay on the bed unless I put a blanket down because he gets his hair all over the bed. And then it makes my eyes all itchy. Come here. You're so big. Such a cuddle bear. Thank you for the kisses. He's licking my leg. Does anyone else's dog do that? He loves to lick our legs. <laughs> You're so silly. You sleepy. Okay, let's finish this bed. Final touch. Corey's favorite pillow that he chose at Home Goods, and you get to see it whenever I finally get to finish the video of redoing his room. <laughs> As you can see, there are boards over there, it's still not done. We need to get a drill to put up the rest of the stuff, and we haven't. Uh, so that's where we're at with that. Put your blanket on. Come on. That's what you wanted, I knew it. Good boy. That's what he wanted. Anyone else getting like mask pimples? I hardly ever get acne and just getting some right here now, which is a spot I never usually get them. I usually get them like on my nose here or here sometimes. Apparently getting them there now. Thanks masks. Corey has, I'm just gonna shut this door. Corey has some stuff in the room that he needs to clean up. He has some clothes from 
his aunt's house where he was staying. Stuff that he needs to go through that's also on the floor right here. So the room's pretty much clean other than that. I put on my favorite shirt, which is my Def Leppard shirt, um, and then just some purple uh, biker shorts from Forever 21. Um, the shirt is from Urban Outfitters. They have it in a couple different colors. I just like the white. It's cute. So I just got in a package from Princess Polly. I wanted to order it while I'm still here in the US because if I order in Canada, I have to pay a whole bunch of duties and fees on it. And I don't wanna do that because it's ridiculous that you have to pay extra for it to come into Canada. So I thought I'd order it while I was here to try some stuff out, see if I like it. I've got a lack of color hat that I need to show you. It's so cute. Looks better. So I haven't really been sure what kind of videos I wanted to film recently, which is why I haven't really been posting. It's really hard because Corey works five out of the seven days a week, sometimes even six days. So to just do like day in the life vlogs or just like vlog something for one day is super hard because those are our only days off. And then it just feels weird just doing singular videos where I'm just doing like, oh, here's a random haul. Um, and it's just not what I've wanted to do. Uh, and I just haven't been able to figure out what kind of videos I've wanted to film. I know I want to vlog. It just didn't feel right to do like daily vlogs. Um, so I'm going to try this out. We're doing a weekly vlog and see how that goes. Just because things we do are kind of so spread out. It doesn't make sense to just do like singular little vlogs. I just feel like it'd be more boring. So I thought we'd try out the weekly vlog and see how that goes. Let me know how you guys like it down below. Uh, I'm going to see how I like editing it and see how I like the flow of it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me get my Princess Paul package. I'll show you this stuff too. Okay, I thought I'd grab some other things that I've been liking that I'd show you guys. Washing hauls are like my favorite thing, but I just feel like they're so like stiff when you're just like, hi, here's a Princess Polly haul and like just do the haul. Um, I know a lot of people are doing Princess Polly hauls right now that are sponsored. This is not sponsored. I'm not cool enough for that. So I got first, this is my favorite thing. This is a lack of color hat. I've wanted to get one of these giant bucket hats for so long now that have the strings on them. There was one on ASOS that I didn't buy and I regret it till this day not buying it. I should have bought it uh, because it was like 20 something dollars. And these hats are 112 USD. Well, <laughs> I wasn't willing to pay that much. I'm still temporarily laid off. I ended up postponing it and then I ended up finding this hat, this one, on Bloomingdale's. Guys, <laughs> it was on sale for like $87 I want to say, somewhere in the 80 range. Um, and then when I put it into my cart and I used Honey, also non-sponsored, <laughs> um, it ended up taking off another like 20% or something. Either way, the hat ended up coming to $66. So that's literally 50% off the original price for a lack of color hat. 50% off. They don't even do sales like that on their website. Still a lot of money for a hat. But again, these are like super adorable. On the entire internet, I cannot find another dupe for this hat. Fortunately, the day that we went and took the photos, I'll put some, I'll put the photos right here. Corey and I went and shot photos for it. It was pouring rain out when we came back and he ended up dropping it in the grass. So there's some mud stains on it that I need to try to get out now, but it's just so cute. Everyone else has the floral ones, but I don't know, the striped one is just, so beachy and I just feel like it's it's so cute <laughs> this is a trend going on right now but I actually really like it and it's these pink plaid blankets it was about 30 bucks for this blanket not the worst it's off Amazon the top that I think I'm gonna be returning but it is super cute so I wanted to show you guys it just doesn't fit me properly I should have probably got it in a size 6 but I got it in an 8 um, but it's this little top from ASOS. It's by the brand itself a little bit too big. I really like it. I think it's super cute And if you're trying to find these kind of like um, House of CB dupes and stuff that everyone's wearing right now where the shirts are like over a hundred dollars I can't afford that. Hadley, you're so adorable right now You guys can't see it because of all the stuff's in there. You guys can stare at Hadley while I'm blabbering on. So for Princess Polly um, I opened a couple stuff last night because Corey wanted to see what I got. So I tried a couple of the things on This is the first shirt that I got I wanted to try to get these ones instead of the ASOS one because they have underwire. So the, this top was originally $49. I got it using one of the million codes because everyone's promoting Princess Polly right now. So there's like a 20% off code summer out there for you. I got the white version as well. It was like a dollar more expensive. Don't understand. It's the exact same top, but sure. Um, <laughs> this one was $39.20. This is a completely unsponsored really haul. So 
take my word for this, it's actually really nice quality. That little silicone rubber things in the sleeves here so it doesn't fall down. People recommend it on there to size up and I'm so glad I sized up because the, unlike the ASOS top where the eight was too big, the Princess Polly stuff, the eight just fits me. And honestly, <laughs> I'm a double D, so the cups just fit my boobs without any nip slips. Definitely recommend this top if you're bigger chested. It also looks really cute if you are smaller chested. All the people I pretty much follow, except for a couple of people like Delaney Childs, are smaller chested, and I just love the way these shirts look on them. Um, but I wanted to try it. I'm bigger chested. I think they still look cute. The only downside with these tops are they're a pain in the ass to get on. You can't just like pull them over. Maybe if you don't have boobs, you can, but I have to literally unbutton all the buttons, untie this, put it on, button it all back up, tie it up so it's kind of a process to put the shirt on. If you're a Taurus like me, it's like a lot of work to put on a shirt for me. So, <laughs> um, but I really like that. I got it in a white, $38.40, originally $48. Even though it's white, it's not see-through. Really appreciate that. This dress is almost too small on me and I also got it in an eight. This is one of those dresses that is a pain in the ass. You have to unbutton it, rebutton it all, all the way up. Problem I have with this dress is that the cups on it for being an eight are so much smaller than the tops. And if I want to wear the sleeves on my shoulders, my boobs kind of just fall out. <laughs> and like, I don't know, there's just no support in it and the way it's made. So definitely I would recommend this dress more so for someone that's smaller chested just for that fact or someone who has like super perky boobs. The quality again is super nice. It doesn't have the like sticky stuff in here, unfortunately, but the quality and the make of it is just so nice. If you were looking for a dupe for one of those super expensive, again, one of those super expensive like House of CB dresses or like a For Love and Lemons dress, definitely recommend checking out Princess Polly for that because Super cute. They honestly should be sponsoring this video because I'm just giving them all the press. Holy shit, this is thick. Like this is heavy. So the price for the dress is a little bit steep. The dress is $77. I got it for $61.60 after the discount. For this sweater, I got it in medium large. It was, that's all that was available. It's a PFG moment. I finally learned what PFG meant. It took me so long. I feel like I'm literally 80 sometimes and I don't understand any lingo, but PFG. <laughs> Um, this sweater I was on sale for $25, which is why I got it. No, I might honestly keep this. It's just super bulky, so I don't know if I can bring it back to Toronto. The camera is currently dying because I used it all yesterday <laughs> when we were vlogging, so, so I'm gonna go and clean this up and uh, probably work on some stuff on my computer and play some video games because <laughs> I really don't have much else to do during the day when corey has gone. Corey's gone all day, so I kind of just plan uh, photos for when he gets home. He's not getting home till late tonight, so it'll probably be dark almost by the time it gets home. It also loves to rain in the evening in Florida, so <laughs> clean this up and do some stuff on my laptop and probably play some Dead by Daylight, any of my gamers out there. I don't know how vloggable that is. Check in with you later when my camera's charged. Call the spaghetti legs and we love this. I always send this to the group chat um, of Corey's family and I whenever he is sleeping, that or he'll roll on his back, which is also super cute. But he's just such a mood. Hello, I'm currently hanging out outside. As you can see, it's a beautiful outside right now. I'm dog sitting. Um, <laughs> that's uh, Corey's mom's dog. I don't know where Hadley went, but this is a family friend's dog, Charlie. Come here, Charlie. The whole reason I turned on the camera is because I wanted to update you guys on taking our photo in the field of the cows. Corey and I went back over there to shoot the photo and the cows were there. I left my vlog camera in my purse in the car because I'm stupid. But we were trying to figure out how we could get a good angle because there was like a little stream between the road and where the cows were and we couldn't figure out how to get across it. So we were kind of just standing around. I was like, screw it, we'll just take the photo like this even though it wasn't exactly how I wanted it. And then this truck pulled over on the side of the road and this Englishman rolls down his window and he asks us if we wanted to go take pictures with his cows. So we were like, um, sure. <laughs> then I'd be able to like get closer to the cows, you know, obviously. Um, so as we're getting back into his car, we're obviously contemplating if he's a serial killer or not. Um, I'm still here, so he wasn't, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but we ended up driving down the road we went and we talked to him for like an hour and I took pictures of his cows for him and I took pictures with the cows. There's some pictures right here. But yeah, it was super fun and we got to take pictures of cows. <laughs> we weren't like 100% how I wanted them to be, but I mean, good story about it, so. Summer. Uh, yeah, that's my story. I'm gonna go back inside because <laughs> it's hot out. Hello, it's Monday. The room is an absolute mess right now, but I'm about to go take a photo or try to. I haven't taken a tripod photo in forever because I have Corey here with me, so 
why isn't that what's happening there we go so he's been shooting all my photos for me but but I took a little walk around our neighborhood and I seen a really cute spot to take a photo so I'm wearing this princess Polly dress that I'm still not 100% sure of there's no support in the top so I'm just all boob and I don't know how I feel about it maybe if I put the sleeves up but I just don't like the way my arms look I don't think it looks cute with the sleeves up let me know down below what you think but I don't know. I feel like all the models wearing them, like this is a way up here and it looks like there's cups in it, but with me, <laughs> there's not. If there was boning in here, it would probably fit me a lot better, but there's not, so ready to go. Okay, so I just got to the spot. It's super loud here because it's right next to a freeway, so that's always great. I set it up and it looks pretty good. I don't shoot with my iPhone just because I have an iPhone 6 or if I had the if I had the 11 I probably would start shooting with that but I've always shot with a DSLR and I don't know I just like the way they look but I'm trying to do more of that like natural lifestyle feed show you what the setup looks like. That's the vibe we're gonna try to get right there so we'll see how that goes. So brought a few props not sure if I want to use them but I don't know with the Canon app uh, connected to it and then I can just shoot my own photos. I'm very wary because this is on a hill <laughs> and there's a pond behind it. So uh, I hope it doesn't get windy. So we're gonna try to shoot. So the issue I'm having now is my app isn't installed because my phone keeps uninstalling stuff. So I just turned on my data to try to do it because I don't want to carry all this stuff back inside. But it's not working. time and there's a raccoon coming this way fuck me it just keeps saying unable to install and I've literally done everything I just paid eight dollars to turn on my Wi-Fi oh my god and now I'm trying like I deleted a whole bunch of shit I'm so confused there's a raccoon coming this way okay yeah go away buddy go away please thank you I'm literally getting so sweaty in this dress. It's not even funny. All the photos, I'm gonna look disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'm extremely sweaty, but I finally got it to work. I think we got it. Apparently at the beach. <laughs> Shooting some stuff. We just sat right here, that sunset in the background. It looks even nicer now, the sunset. Yeah, but we are getting so bit up by fleas. It's ridiculous. The outfit, it's Princess Polly and this hat from Yesta. Just got a little shell. Oh, I'm getting so bit. Okay, we need to go. The current state of my leg right now is just, look at all these bites, what the hell? So the sky is pink and blue over here. And over there, it's blue and orange. That's so funny. So, long time, no a vlog. <laughs> it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, but we didn't vlog all weekend because there was like a hurricane warning and then it was super gray and rainy all weekend. So there was really nothing to vlog because we kind of just sat there and played video games and hung out and watched movies and stuff. To, like get a couple little clips over a few days. So I thought I'd just like tell the story of what happened. <laughs> I did get to go to a Whole Foods and get Poppy, which I've been wanting to try for a while now. It's like a prebiotic soda. I am not a soda person at all. I don't like soda unless it's like a mixed drink. But this has like four grams of sugar in it. It has prebiotics, it has apple cider vinegar in it, and it's not like super, super sweet. So we did that. <laughs> And try this. Corey's gonna try it uh, as we're going on to the highway. <laughs> Do it. He's trying the ginger lime. What do you think? To me, it tastes like a candy. There's like some kind of like lime candy. Tastes pretty good though. Kind of like those sour lime gummy thing. I don't fucking know. It's not like overpowering though. Like it's actually like really. Like it's carbonation. Too. It's a good alternative for a soda. I like that way better. 
end up going swimming in his neighborhood and watching the sunset from the pool. I'm gonna end this week's vlog here and start the next vlog just because I wanna kinda do Wednesday to Wednesday. I felt like that made more sense. Let me know down below how you like this style of video. Um, obviously hit that bell and subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. That feeling, don't you know you give me that feeling? That feeling, don't you know you give me that feeling? Give me that feeling.